Right, bathroom breaks are over. Uh, commentator's still not here yet, but I'm not sure if production's gonna let us just get, just roll with it. Tithi down finding his center, breathing just a little bit. Kong Kong, the savvy veteran, long history of playing some Smash. Already, already ready to jump right into it. Both these guys on the brink of just like you know powering players, so definitely an exciting match. Opening up on Battlefield, being joined here. Oh man, we got we got damage report here. Right? Oh, I hit myself in the head with the headset. But no worries. Uh, hey, if you're rushing in, that's that's one of the things that to, to look out for. Mr. Kong Kong's gonna try to want to rush in, but. He look. might hit himself in the head with his own headphones if he fumbles too much. He's, oh man, look at that shield. It's looking really small. It's really hard to get in as Luigi. This is one of the weaknesses mm -hmm. Luigi has, but he's able to use that tornado, but once you're falling out like that, it's kind of an issue. Yeah, you're gonna have to look oh, at, oh, here, here we go, he's been we, practicing. Oh, he no, dropped it. it. Where's the up air? Oh, but the but edge he's got a good edge guard. So many things just happened, you couldn't even <laughs> register it. But Mr. Konkon taking it out, and the up air barely misses out, but the tornado uses it to get out, and the up air to shield, that's a big punish. Well, not as big as we wanted, but there we go, the follow-up damage is as good. Yeah, he's going right back to that ledge uh -oh. trap. Oh, there's the uh, up special hitting him away. Ooh, but flips him into the face. There goes Luigi. That's gonna be a frustrating one, because Mr. Konkon had done his work to get in. But then he got clipped just barely by a holy water, and then all of a sudden but you he's can't in trouble. Be, you can't be too upset with right. 55% damage on the board. Especially with that edge guard. Good pickup, man. He's got him off stage. Yeah, he's trying to, instead of playing, you know, the traditional Zare ledge trap that we were, that he had been going to before. And this time, Mr. Konka knows not to do neutral good. I think he's heard us multiple times say <laughs> don't do that, that he's actually going to go ahead and do it for a roll. Great roll to avoid it, and great parry. It's really frustrating that you get a parry, but you can't follow up because that's destroyed. <laughs> And wisely gets out of that holy water situation, but TD Drum one step ahead punishes it with an up special. He's able to get out of it. Great thing for a lot. He actually used a down to clip him out, and he actually able to catch his own holy water. I like this. Where'd it go? And, you know, and I, I think one of the things that TD Drum has really caught. Oh, oh here we go. Oh my goodness. And Hello, Luigi. And wow. goodbye to that stock. Did you see TD Drum? He's putting his hand his handles his wrist and he's feeling himself but what a great combo that just came out right and, you know you could talk about answering the call you know you got con con coming out to an early lead and tv drama's battle his way all the way back to a pretty solid lead and that's what we said if luigi is able to find some way in and try to get these tornadoes but look at this green instantly coming in he's finally able to get back onto the stage but what's the answer doesn't look like he has one now. Uh, he's oh, I thought he's gonna flip the down Same, smash. But the down, uh, the back throw should be enough. Cause great fireball is unable to get it actually. Yeah, good management of resources right there from T3 Dome. Saves oh! up a, picks up a misfire <laughs> and says, you know, I'm not out of it yet. Hope burns oh the turn. Oh my off. God, the misfire comes exactly what you needed. Last time it killed Mr. Konkon. This time it pays him back with a blessing. But that fair. Oh, look at it. It's for it. And he's able to battle back. I thought. I, I feel like you know we're talking about Belmont not wanting you know not wanting to uh, be edge guarding too much. He might have gone after him in that situation. But remember, one good grab from the Luigi. Oh, that'll pick it up though. I said one good grab. We got one great axe in the face. Oh my God. And after kind of an early you know a rough start, Teeth Your Dome comes roaring back, takes the first game. Looking pretty solid and looking at the counter pick. Is he going right back to Battlefield? Going right back to Battlefield. Going right back to Battlefield. Yeah, just look, Kong Kong does not look like he's a fan of this matchup. By any stretch of the <laughs> he was right behind <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I have no choice in the matter. He's got to, you know, sometimes, like pawns in the, you know, in the bracket, he's got to move forward. Hey, that's life. Yeah, that's life. You really do feel like that. <laughs> Here we go. He's got a moment. Oh, good out special out. I saw that the, uh, the damage here is about to start with a landing neutral air or a landing down air, but you have special right out of it. Good presence of mind for TC Drum in that here's a big shame. He's able to shield it out, but gets clipped up by that fair. He's kind of struggling to get back himself in there, but look at that one more fair once again, but the accent catch his name. It's got Luigi's name on it, and he's not going to come back from that one at all. Yeah, almost a complete reversal of the last game. Uh -oh. Oh, Roy, now here we go. That, speaking of reversal, get it? hello. Oh no, the dash attack? Question he saw, mark. He saw that he didn't get it, so he went for the dash attack. Uh. He was going too far away from it. But here comes the downer into the drag down, yeets him off the stage. When well, he's gonna be okay, but oh my god, I gotta stop. I gotta stop saying he's okay because he's not. <laughs> yeah, so that's the hard part. As soon as he 
because it's so volatile, you feel like he's either okay or he's broken in. All in the blink of an eye, just wait one or two exchanges and it's either all over or all fine. Oh no! No, speaking of all over or all fine and two exchanges, that was not good. And T3 Dome, man, SD's left and right. Yeah, Last miss, <laughs> semis, T3. winners, finals, T man. No, T3's Dome was blessed with these SDs, right? <laughs> They're coming out exactly when he needs them. And great parry. It must be frustrating to get these parries off, but unable to get anything off. It's like that Mario Party video. Luigi does nothing and wins. Yeah, but this time, <laughs> Luigi does something and doesn't get anything but, off. Yeah, at but all. it's the opposite, right? <laughs> Got that Mario what Party. Goes around, comes around, right? Yeah. What goes around, comes around. <laughs> It's the sequel, only Luigi's the villain. In oh, the great carry coming into play, but unable to find any other process come there. He tried to bait it out with Intel, but actually slides off the platform. And there's that Cyclone, lands with it, but T3 Dome surviving and able Barely to make it back. back. Yeah, he's going to use the cycle one more time. It doesn't hurt. Well, it kind of does hurt to use it again, but oh. if you're Mr. Kronkon, he's going to use anything else, and he's going to bait out the air dodge that fair is off. That's going to be it, unless he gets uh, a misfire. Unless he, unless he's jump. Yeah, he's jumping. You got to double jump. Hold on to that for dear life like a true Luigi man. Uh -huh, and that's Thanks for the dash good. attack. That was good. Yeah, solid, you know, just demanding just a little bit of respect. To, that's you also know, really solid. If I didn't SD, this Ooh. game would be a whole lot different. Who knows? Yeah, but remember, it's all these ifs. But here, oh, here we, we go. Oh, no. no. You know, I, I know you guys are probably like mad that I'm rooting for these zero sets, <laughs> but they're still pretty hard to, to execute, especially in a high pressure situation. No, when they're behind and they need a zero to death to oh. bring them in the game, I'm Ooh. all for it, too. Oh, but oh a great there's freedom. the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forward smash the down smash. No problem. TT dumb and firm control. Looking very you know, well, business as usual. I'm feeling the pressure right yeah. now. Yeah, kind of lost his composure a little bit from the first game. You saw him coming in very, you know, very zen-like. You run into the wall and it's tough. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm trying to be nice to him. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no way. Oh, we got a character switch. All right, let's see if he's uh, able to open up just a little bit more. I've not seen Con Con's Fox uh, in a hot I've minute. I've never <laughs> seen him before. I'm excited, though. All that lab work and training mode to do zero to death combos, and he's going Fox uh, with his back against the wall. Talk about a roll of the dice. This is it. Let's see if he's able to make it happen. It's like, uh, well, Fox is the best. So I can't do it with that comparison. Oh. It's like when uh, infiltration. Oh, uh, when Hakan. Hakan, yeah. <laughs> but Fox is the best, so I can't yeah. really say that. And yeah. already we're starting to see issues with this counter pick. Remember you saying stick to what you know? Yeah. You see the miscalls that this is well too first on this box. Uh, give him some time, get his bearings just a little bit. Yeah, that's the hard part too, like you're not warmed up with the character just trying to go cold start. Not a lot of players are able to do that very effectively. But it's like I'm, a very acquired skill all the time. It's, 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 it's a top skill that a lot of players need to have. But it's so good, and look at that conversion yeah. easily. TZ Drum's like, I've seen a fox or two in my lifetime playing in SoCal, I'm sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of foxes in Mario and SoCal, <laughs> we got plenty of them. But I like these empty hops, but that shield looking awfully small and Oh god, he's forced to recover high every single time. He does not want to deal with those ledge traps at all. Right, he picks up the back here, he yeah. takes the stock. And it's at this point, it kind of feels like it's just a formality and a countdown for TT Dumb moving into Grands. But let's see if Kong Khan has some surprises. It's, it's, it's not looking too well right now. And here it comes. That could have been a drag down fair, but I am to find the conversion there. Doing a good job bowling in, in the aerial exchanges right there, but not really much damage to show for it, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, because Fox's aerial, his nair is great, right? Yeah. If the bear can do like, some great drag downs, you can't compete against a uh, disjointed bear and bear as Richters. Right. That was like the issue. The project, the projectile shirt is like the icing, it's like the icing on the cake, right? But yeah. to me, the real issue was his aerials. Mm -hmm. Take this. Yeah, and a questionable illusion tries to get right back into it. Yeah, there's an up air. And, uh, it's the callus yeah. that's keeping them alive, thankfully. I guess that's why they're picking these stages, so they'll, they'll be able to live easier, while at the same time, Richter can get kicked out easily. And great use of the air. Is he going to be living? Yeah, he's got, he's, his yeah he's got his double jump, no problem. And yeah, one of the situations, again, Konkan might have been done well to go after him just a little bit harder. Mm, but a great shift over with those tails. He's recovering high every single time. Yeah, bad. Oh, what? Oh <laughs> uh, Toothy done with the right idea, just a little miss base. Uh, good, good presence of mind for Mr. Kong Kong to try to like you know. That's not fast there. Yeah, we there go. Go. But 137. What can Mr. Kong Kong do? He's got to pick up. He's got to pick up one of those crazy pox combos. Got to open up. TT drum, get underneath him, get some up air chains or something. Uh, got to channel hit to your uh, inner move. Yeah. Get the light. Get something down. But here we go. Actually runs right into this. So uh, you usually don't want to go for those down throws. You want to go for that up throw on pox. 
I know, but Rage is still a factor, though, so this is this is still doable. Right, and he's got him off stage, too. Could be time for a gimp. Got the drag down there, and TC Drums battled he back. He baited it out. Oh, man, Kong Kong looking pretty sharp. Went for the edge guard, pressed his advantage for it till TC Drums went from a really controlled match to now it's a bit of a, a scrap uh, scrap in the yard. Yeah, but he's able to get it out, but a perfectly space. He's barely alive, 175. Callus making it happen. Uh, I mean, all means and dreams, but that's not going to take him right there. You usually want to go for that fair, but the up he has to show does disrupt it. And he's got that stock lead, so, you know, a little bit of breathing room again for T3 Dome because it's starting to get a little too close for comfort as Fox is building up. He's like one, you know, neutral air, or neutral air confirmed to up smash away from tying this up pretty much. And we see him weaving in and out towards D3 Shield, trying to find an option to finally find a Nair confirm, but I have to find it. Oh. Uh, good thing the illusion's been changed, yeah, <laughs> otherwise they, he's been off stage. Yeah, was, uh, he is off stage anyway, this yeah, is trouble. Oh my god, he's barely alive, but great. He doesn't get the sweet spot though, so thankfully he's still alive. Oh my god, he tried to read it again. These nares are not happening. He got the sour spot, that's massive though. He has him off stage, but probably would have taken the stock instead. Mm -hmm. Great use of the anti hop, the tomahawk coming into play, and great use of the nair as well. That's what Mr. Kong got, he's too oh, far yes, away. Oh no! He needed to pick up the angle, didn't quite get it, T3 Dome. Picking up another SD on his way to Grand Finals. This man, there's something, like the aura that he's giving off. <laughs> it's just like. I mean, it also doesn't, it doesn't feel too good by yeah. putting off of these SDs. Yeah. I mean, if he wins the tournament, though, I'm sure he'll uh, he'll take it. Just, uh, you know, it's unfortunate there's some SDs going through. So I expect to see a, so he's going to go to Rams, Teacher Dome. Yeah. And I expect to see Mr. Kong Kong versus Nitro. Yeah. I think, uh, do we know who's in semis? Have they played? Uh, I think Nitro won. Looks like it. So he's going straight into losers finals at this point? Maybe. Yeah, T3 down, just All taking right, a though. breather, right? How's he making, how do you make that happen? How do you trick people into SD? How do you trick everybody into SD, man? <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, keep, I, but keep it up, man, you're doing great. All right, so. Uh-oh, so it's, it's, uh.